Hey, y'all. Realist was popping. So one of the things that's in the headlines right now is a situation that occurred between Sukiyana, who is a TV personality, you know, loving hip hop. Um, she also does music. For those that never heard of her or never seen her at all, the best way I can sum it up for you is Cardi B, Nicki Minaj, uh, Lil' Kim, Mulatto, take those female rappers in some mo and sum them all up into one and intensify them by 10. And you got Sukiyana. You can't make this up. I mean, her social media handle is literally Suki with the good. Real talk. Um, and then you got YK Osiris, who's a rapper. So some might see the clip, but for those that haven't, what happens, she's sitting at the table. He walks up behind her, grabs her, and proceeds to try to force his tongue in the girl's mouth. He's trying to get a kiss, right? Which I think he proceeded. Nonetheless, no, it's not okay to do that. Let's just get, the, you know, let's get right to it. Hell no, it's not okay for a man to do that. I would never, no matter how sexual or, or, or how raunchy a woman is, I can never see myself doing something like that. No consent whatsoever. You would have thought they knew each other. You would have thought they was already smashing the way he walked up on her. So when it happened, it basically sparked a debate on, you know, like sexual harassment and men knowing when to, you know, know their boundaries, you know. And um, some people felt like there was some selective outrage that came into play because there are other situations that have occurred before where there wasn't that same energy, you know what I mean? And some people felt like Lil Duval was wrong, which I didn't understand. You know, some people felt like he should have done something. He should have stopped homie or whatever, which I don't really understand what he was supposed to do because it's like this. Everybody reacted to the situation as it happened. It happened just that fast. You know what I'm saying? And the energy was that it was a humorous moment. Homie even said that in his apology. It was playful. You know what I'm saying? I don't think nobody knew exactly how far... He was going to go or how far it was going to go, you know? So people were kind of still like learning the moment as it was going on. So I don't think they should drag Duval for that. You even got Amber Rose who spoke on the situation. You know what I'm saying? She uh threw her two cents in there and she was kind of like, you know, um, like y'all, y'all not going to like come to her defense or some stuff she was saying or whatever. And it's like the only time she really even opened her mouth is when you have another female who presents themselves similar to the way she, you y'all know Amber Rose history. You know what I'm saying? This is the same girl who led the slut walk. You know what I'm saying? And for the women that's listening, listen real good. No, I'm not sitting here saying that just because a woman presents herself a certain way, that it means men should be able to approach them that way. But I am going to say it. That that doesn't stop the fact that they are. And yeah, you can learn uh, out of this situation. You can learn, you know, men got some men got to learn their boundaries. You know, I think it's common sense not to do something like that, quite frankly. But I think it's also a reminder that some of these women got to watch the way they present themselves, fam. As a woman, you can do whatever you want to do. Coochie pop in the middle of the street. You know what I'm saying? I seen a clip of this girl performing a song. She ain't had no damn top on. She putting her breasts all up in dude's face. She's wild with it. So the perception men get from her, especially these rappers, is that if she, if that's her reputation, then what's it going to make any difference if I do this or that? Then there's another clip where this one dude was talking sexually to her, talking about what he would do to her or whatever the case is. Some people felt like he was out of pocket. So she's known for being in these real raunchy, scandalous, you know what I'm saying, uh, controversial situations, fam. After the fact, she said, I drink to hide that I'm very sensitive. I feel things more than the average person. I stopped drinking yesterday, but today I've been crying all day. I ask God to strengthen me and use me to help others and to order my steps in his word. I just want to go away for a while. And as far as... uh. Oh boy, YK Osiris. He said, I want to publicly offer my sincerest apology to Sukiyana in an attempt to be playful. I misread the moment and violated Sukiyana's boundaries. I understand the importance of consent. 
and I am embarrassed by my behavior. I take full responsibility and have made multiple attempts to apologize. I have the utmost admiration for Sukiyana, and it was never my intention to disrespect her. Feel like that was a, a worthy apology. I guess the only person who who can define that is Sukiyana. I noticed he said he made multiple attempts to apologize. So, but looky here, fam. There's a couple ways to look at it. You know, as far as homie walking up on her like that, obviously, no, he shouldn't have done that. But there are other men who probably would have thought that maybe, just maybe, it's okay to do the same thing. And it is sad. It is. You know, some men they. They take that sexual energy that women put out and they twist it around and take it as something else, you know, twisting it, twisting it around as, oh, okay, so it's okay for me to do this then. You know what I mean? And as far as Sukiyana and any other women who are similar to her, we know, when it comes to presenting themselves in a certain way, you could do whatever you want to do. It's your body, you know, all of that. But just, just be mindful. Just be mindful that for some people, they mean it literally. When you give out that, when you give a certain energy out there about yourself, they're going to, you know, they're going to give you that same energy back. You know what I'm saying? They're going to treat you exactly how you treat yourself. You know what I'm saying? They're going to treat you exactly how you present yourself. And that's just how it is, man. That's a lesson that's bigger than this situation. You know what I mean? But y'all leave y'all own comments and thoughts on the matter, man. Realest one. I'm out.